Hi, I'm Mike, and today we're going to try to solve that age-old dilemma of trying to get rid of that nasty smell in your garbage disposal. Hey, if this is your first time here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss anything. So when people talk about having a smelly sink, they're generally referring to the garbage disposal. And that's because you get all kinds of food that goes down there and it, it gets chopped up into little pieces in areas that water can't reach and it starts to decay and it smells. The other side of the sink has a sink strainer on it which typically catches larger particles, the smaller particles wash down into the drain. So today we're gonna to focus on the garbage disposal. So we're gonna do a two-step process here to get rid of this smell. The first thing I'm gonna do is pull out this, this retainer here. And you know, you can see a lot of stuff on the underside of some of these. This one is pretty clean, but uh, I don't know that you, if you can see around this rim here, but that is pretty nasty. Uh, so that needs to be cleaned out where this, where this rubber retainer sits. And also uh, down inside the disposal, even though I just ran it, there's food uh, particles st still down in there. So uh, the disposal doesn't get everything out. So what we're gonna do first, uh, and by the way, this, this disposal drains great. There's no problems and no issues uh, with that. So make sure your disposal drains properly and does not back up. So the first thing we're gonna do is throw some ice down there. And you wanna fill this whole thing. You wanna fill that whole thing up and the purpose of this is that we want to uh, we want to grind up that ice, and it's gonna it's gonna throw the ice uh, pieces particles all over the place, like ice shrapnel. We want it to hit the insides of the of the well where this sits, and just kind of hit pieces of food that may be decaying off of it. Okay, that that is overfilled. I got it down in there, so let's hit it. Run some water in there, let that drain out. Hot water is better. And just because I have more ice, I'm going to do it again. It does not hurt. That's filled up pretty much again. Snap this down into place and hit it. Okay, so I'll show you. That looks awfully clean already. All right, the next step, we're gonna use the old uh, elementary school combination of baking soda and vinegar. And just like the days when, uh, when you used to make volcanoes or pop uh, corks off of bottles with this stuff, it works here too. So I put in uh, between a half cup and a cup of baking soda and I put the cap back on and you're gonna get a reaction here. It's gonna, it's gonna start foaming and whatnot, but you don't wanna put too much vinegar down there. Otherwise it'll wash it out. You want it to have it sit in there and fester a little bit. So I pour it in slowly until we get what the, the desired effect. I can hear it foaming. Okay, it certainly smells like vinegar. Let's wash that out. Now you can do this a couple of times if you like. And even the last step, uh, if you want to get rid of the vinegar smell, there's, there's commercial uh, sanitizers you can drop in there, they're little pellets, and uh, it gives you a citrus, a citrus uh, scent when it's all done. So when that's all finished up, 
You can either do it again if you're not satisfied with it or wait and see if it works in a while and try that whole process again. But generally that's, uh, that's been very successful. Okay, so there you have a couple of steps to help you get rid of that nasty garbage disposal smell. It doesn't work in all cases, but it does work in many cases. Good luck to you, and if you have any comments, just leave them below and I'll get back to you.